happy new year how are you welcome to another video on my youtube channel my name is sharon kalunge if it's your first time here please subscribe if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate you coming back and always stopping by to watch my content today is a topic we are going to be talking about 20 lessons i have learned in my life in my long life <laughs> So there are lessons and also like rules I go by. So uh, kindly also tell me yours. Let's learn together because life is a learning process. Do you know actually I was last year years old. When I learned that I was a Gen Z, I actually thought I always thought I'm a millennial. But turns out I'm the first bunch of Gen Zs. I never knew that. took a, a, a break last week or the first week of uh, 2024 to just pause relax because i had taken you guys on a marathon a vlogmas of like two weeks straight was it two weeks or three weeks i started on the 12th then posted all through until the 31st those are 18 19 days almost three weeks yeah i took a, like marathon it was a lot like i had to create content edit post you know push every day i'm pushing a different video so i really took a pause to just rest rejuvenate think about new things you know and also learn new skills i've been learning a lot so expect a lot from me this year i've learned um how like things about content creation how to edit many things i'm still learning actually and it's a we, we as we've said life is a learning process so yeah expect good stuff this year kindly subscribe if it's not the first lesson that i've learned in my life is prayer prayer is everything and i've not been the most prayerful person but my parents prayers have really put me out of some terrible stuff and uh yeah it's something that i really want to investing this year i really want to be more prayerful i want to know god more i want to go to church more i want to read the bible more and that's a lesson i've learned prayer prayer be prayerful pray to your deity it really works prayers work wonders the second lesson that i've learned is empathy i've really learned to be empathetic i think I've always been an empathetic person, but uh, when I studied, I did a diploma in mental health, I think back in 2020, yes, 2020, when I was working at a mental health um, organization, I really learned a lot about um, that and uh, what mental health does when you read or when you learn about mental health, it makes you empathetic. Yeah, so it really added some points so for example do not judge people for how they reacted to some situations because you've not been fair yourself so understand different people learn people be empathetic sometimes before you say something just think think about it and ask yourself if someone said this to me would i be happy do to others what you'd like to be done unto you the bible says number three lesson i've learned in this life is acceptance accept yourself embrace your imperfections you're not perfect you're human accept yourself if you accept yourself the way you are trust you me you're not going to be swept away by peer pressure bandwagon for more for more is fear of missing out Bandwagon is just Ilea, me too, me too, or you just want to do something because another person is doing, you know, things like that. If you accept yourself the way you are, you know that you are not perfect, that, for example, you, you're not going to do things be, just because the other person is doing. You learn yourself, you know, you're good at this, you're not good at this, you know, you're a different person. Just accept yourself the way you are. Number four is self-love. Actually, it's also it should be joined together with acceptance love yourself 
enjoy your company your own company i know of people that have never been like single <laughs> they jump from one relationship to the other you don't take time to learn yourself you don't take time to date yourself go on solo dates go on solo trips go on solo vacations enjoy your solitude actually solo activities that does not only involve i don't know going for vacations and trips maybe you're not there yet financially so you can just have movie nights alone cook for yourself just enjoy yourself have to call yourself meetings it's actually not crazy talking to yourself people are afraid of being with themselves because they know the chaos that are in their mind but face that if it's a fear face it be with yourself learn new things about yourself actually it's only in solitude where you learn because you're learning about new things sometimes you also learn new things about yourself so enjoy um self love like enjoy solitude be with yourself the danger with that is that sometimes when you you're comfortable with yourself and all that when you get into a relationship you always prefer you know you always when when now when you're in a relationship and of course relationships are hard but when now it the hardships become like they start being there being conspicuous and all that you find yourself considering to go back to your solitude so yeah enjoy solitude but it's a limit <laughs> it's your life anyway do you i've written points so every time i look down i'm just checking to see if i've stayed or i've existed everything so the fifth one is romanticize your life delulu delusion mm -hmm. you're the most important person of your life romanticize it fantasize you know it's beautiful it actually releases happy hormones and you're happy you know all that romanticize your life and everything you believe you can do it actually you can do it there's a quote i saw that i did not in <clears throat> when i was making my vision board i did not include it because it was too harsh but it was also true like yes i can or i can't oh yeah it says i can or i can't are true depends on which one you believe something of the sort i actually i have forgotten it but something of that oh i think whether you say i can or can't you're right yes says that so romanticize your life number six do not give unsolicited advice do not give unsolicited uh, unsolicited or unsolicited comments or uh, compliments you're always giving people uh, compliments about or comments about their weight or just advising them i don't know to lose weight or to do what do know what you don't know what that person is going through don't assume don't don't actually don't do not it's hurtful really hurtful do not give unsolicited advice do not give compliments or comments that have not been asked for keep them to yourself you don't like something about me you don't like something i have it's mine it's not yours if you don't like seeing it block me <laughs> number seven is the first time something happens to you is unfortunate i'm so sorry it happened but the second time the third time the fifth time the hundredth time is your fault mm -hmm. yeah number eight the power of manifesting it's still like romanticizing your life manifest talk to the universe create a vision board actually you know what a vision board does it it visualizes your goals and now you have tangible you can see them there you know now i'm talking and i'm seeing my vision board there like i can see everything it's just becomes tangible and it just pushes you to you know to work harder to reach like to do whatever you have to do to reach them and it's fantastic manifest talk to the universe it actually listens absolutely it does and number nine is um documenting happy moments documenting happy moments right you can write if you do diaries dear diary write on a diary or maybe when you're somewhere 
you're having fun with your friends or your loved ones take pictures take videos and actually also as you're documenting your life also live for the moment it's documenting but also mindfulness mindfulness is living for the moment be mindful so you balance between the two so like maybe for example artist favorite singer mine is chidima so for example if she's performing for 30 30 uh, minutes uh maybe you take videos for like three minutes of course you're going to take videos and pictures and if it's it's me attending chidima's concert i'll be at the vip up belle up in front <laughs> near the stage so of course i'll take videos with ah enjoying that that's like three minutes and then the next 27 minutes i'm going to be singing along to all our songs because i know all of them like live for the moment in balance between living for the moment and creating memories create time with your loved ones because life again is the flower like so short you only live once enjoy it. document your life create memories and all that number 10 is learn new skills life what makes life interesting is not being so vanilla you only did a, a course in communication in campus and that's the only thing you know learn new things learn something like administration actually you know you have communication and then administration you can become a manager appointed a CEO you know something of the sort or maybe you're a doctor you can learn music maybe playing the guitar editing all that learn new things it could be a new course a new language a new hobby a new recipe like there are a lot of things you can learn and it makes life more beautiful and actually improves your quality of life come on and how you spend your time or travel to new places yeah you also learn customs of other people you know all that their way of life and all that just learn new things number 11 is curiosity ask questions read research learn ask makes life beautiful and you add onto your knowledge you pour into your cup of knowledge yeah can never overflow it always adds there's a lot of space in your brain you keep adding curiosity ask you've had something <laughs> ask ask or research google is your friend just to research number 12 is play mind sharpening games whatever those are for you just play like for me if if there's a game that has a level like sudoku it has like a level called easy there's another one called medium then there's hard super hard and then there is evil i always play like hard super hard especially and evil like because it's more challenging and it keep it gets you to think like sharpens your mind so play games number 13 which is also connected to like games actually number from number 10 to number 14 they are all con like con connected in a way so like Number 13 is watch and listen to impactful content. Whatever that is for you, watch. Something you're learning or like videos or content you're learning from, just watch. And then number 14 is um, have escapades. Have escapades from your life. Life is hard sometimes. Life can be boring. But if you have escapades, and uh, these escapades can be like, just getting out of like the normal life that's like your normal maybe vacations to new places or if you do not have the budget for vacation watching movies series comedy content playing video games reading a book you know it just creates a new scenario in your mind and uh, makes life more interesting number 15 is consent ask for permission ask for permission always to consent number 16 is the question or the idea of quality quantity and price there are things that if you go for quantity and price like cheaper 
it's going to cost you things like tissue the cheaper it is the bad the quality rice actually rice even it's not about the price it's quality they are expensive rice but at not as delicious <laughs> and maize meal this is for kenyans ugali depends quality and then there is also like peanut butter things like a spaghetti sometimes you'll go for cheaper price and then it will it is going to not be good <laughs> number 17 is customer service the warmth and the kindness of uh shop attendants or waiters or uh, people that are serving you i i prefer customer service over actually anything else the quality of the product sometimes depends but i would not buy from a road person or someone who's not even giving me the attention or just showing me that my 20 shillings that they're not going to die if i do not you know even if it's 20 shillings like i want someone to be welcoming someone to be like kind not mean to me and that's i know i will buy definitely because of customer service number 18 is reciprocity there's a time oliver Rao was talking and uh he was saying how from now on when someone asks her what her love language is she's actually not going to say i don't know time touch physical mm, or physical time or physical touch I don't know give sex of service and all that she just is going to say recipro reciprocity being reciprocal what like the energy you give me is what i'm going to give you do me i do you tit for tat and i know i'm petty with this but my rule in life about reciprocity is as petty as if you do not wish me happy birthday if you do not post me or gift me i'm not going to do the same so it's just that do me i do you nothing personal but i'll just treat you the way you treat me and it works for me <laughs> number 19 is show up to places that you're wanted places that your presence is wanted and then the last one is i love i love people that are intentional to change i don't like people that are ha go hurting others and their excuses that's how i am the, the 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 statement that's how i am me na kuanga ivo why can you not change don't treat people badly because that's how you are that's so lame you need to change you need to know what to do you know yeah those are my 20 lessons i've learned in life there are 20 rules i go by what are yours tell me at the comment section and let's meet on the next one